it's my pleasure to to introduce Dashon Wang. Uh, he's a professor at Northwestern University in the Kellogg School of Management, and he's the founding director of the Center for Science of Science. I'm going to take a new approach to giving this kind of presentation. I want to also sort of hopefully uh, will uh, offer sort of some of the lessons. 2018 was a great year for the field where we published the first review paper of the field called Science of Science uh, in Science. Earlier this year, uh, we're also excited about the publication of the book uh, that I co-authored with um, Lazaro Barba. In many ways, this idea of turning the scientific methods and uh, curiosities upon science itself, thinking about the idea of invisible college, power loss, uh, cumulative advantage, or Harriet Zuckerman, who is another sociologist of science, but they then take two things that they did not have the luxury to have in their time. The first line of research I want to talk about is what I call the hope project, because I just want to think about, you know, when do you produce your best work? If I represent careers, then it's very simple is to say, where does the highest pin occur within a career? This is the question uh, that has fascinated uh, psychologists or economists for several decades in the past. You do your best work in your mid-career, somewhere around 30 to 40 years old. And that's where you find uh, that for a randomized career, they too follow exactly the same pattern as what you measured in the data. This would mean this curve we're seeing is primarily driven by how productivity is distributed across your careers. In other words, it has the same probability to be your very first work the very last work or somewhere in the middle. This sort of confirms this idea that what we call random impact rule appears rather robust, is that your best work seems to have an equal probability to be randomly distributed within your body of work. So some people take it as feeling, you know, if you keep producing your best work, maybe yet to come. This is not just your best work, but also true for your second best work and third best work. This raises a question, what mechanisms are responsible for the observed cluster of hits in real careers? The most likely explanation is this ubiquitous yet unique hot streak period that emerges randomly in your career. It's like you're not yourself anymore. You're all of a sudden producing at a much higher level than typical. And you stay at that level for about four to five years, and then you fall back to where you were before. Most people have just one hot streak. Much fewer people have two, and people who have three are extremely rare. Grateful for a wide range of funders that support our research made it possible.